Dun, dun, dun. What's up everybody? I'm glad you're watching. We have a lot of things that we need to discuss, so let's get started. This is Lesbian Answers. <laughs> How's everybody been? How's life? How's things? How's you? How's me? I'll tell you how I am. I'm fabulous. Just got back from a family reunion and by just got back I mean yesterday at around 8.30 ish p.m. Had a wonderful time up in the cabins in the Utah mountains. I have a very large family. I think there was something like 63 people there. I got to cover a song with my ridiculously talented cousin named Zach and he plays the cello and I really want you guys to go watch it just for the sole purpose of hearing him in the least. I mean he is unbelievable. So the link will be down below. Uh, it's on my music channel. We had a lot of fun and I spent almost the whole weekend playing and creating music with him. Also, I just recently subbed for LGBT teens. Mondays are usually when Fee makes her videos and she was having some technical difficulties so if you want to check that video out it's also down below. Coming up next week I want to do things a little bit differently. I want to make a question and answers video. The reason behind this is I've gotten a lot of I've gotten a lot of personal questions from people. What's your favorite color? What do you like to do? Etc. Etc. So I thought I would just hit them all in one video and just kind of do a question and answer video about me personally. You can ask me in a YouTube message. You can ask me in the comment section below. You can ask me on my music Facebook. Uh, on my Twitter. The only place I don't want you to ask me is my form spring because it's going to be hard for me to differentiate between what questions are being asked specifically for my form spring and what questions are being asked for my Q&A video next week. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. Today's question is, how do I handle relationships? We've talked about in some of my other videos how girl-girl relationships are very emotional and they do move very quickly. So with that being said, we're going to talk about different kinds of relationships and how you deal with them and kind of how they work and, and what I think about them. So right now let's start with your classic emotional girl-girl relationship. In this kind of situation, the best thing that you can do is to be as logical and realistic as possible. When you're in the relationship with a girl, you really want to look at it and think to yourself, okay, is this working? How are we dealing with one another? Where can we improve? Often when you are emotional, you tend to lose sight of the reality of the situation and you're only thinking, this hurts, this feels good, this makes me happy, this makes me sad. <coughs> I swear I'm okay. A relationship can get really out of hand or unhealthy if you don't look at it in a very realistic way. Long distance relationships. It takes a special kind of person to be able to do this. I've been in a long distance relationship. It can work, but I think that you have to have one of two things in order for it to work. The first is you have to have a lot of physical endurance. I am a very physical person which is why a long distance relationship can't work for me. I can't just have a relationship that's completely emotionally based. It will leave me empty and unsatisfied. And so I need to be able to have that closeness and to have that physical bond with that other person. And so if you are that way and you're getting yourself into a long distance relationship, it's going to end up being very, very painful for you. However, if you're kind of, I need my own space, I don't mind it, then it's possible and it does work. The other thing is that you need to be very, very patient. When you're in a long distance relationship, there's always waiting going on. And so you have to be very, very patient. You have to be able to be patient enough to wait to see that person. Not a lot of people can do that but it can work and in order to make it work you need to try to be as positive as possible if you're in a long distance relationship and it's always this is so sad I hate this I hate this I hate this I hate this you're not going to be able to bear it much longer you want to try to be as happy and as positive about it as you possibly can those two things are really going to help you because it's going to propel you to want to continue the relationship secret relationships there are a lot of these going on especially when you're younger and you're in high school and 
the number one reason for a secret relationship is, of course, you're afraid of your family and friends finding out that you're gay, and you don't want them to know. Even in these kind of relationships, and they do work. Um, they do work until people find out. I don't think that it's the relationship itself that falls apart. I think that it's the other people that end up finding out that causes the explosion to happen. Should you be in a secret relationship? If that is your only way of being in a relationship, yes. If you're in the military and that's the only way you can be in a relationship, then yes. If you have you know, abusive parents and they can't know that you're gay, but you want to be in a relationship, then yes. But I will say this, if you're in a secret relationship for the sole purpose of you're just scared of your family and friends finding out, you just need to slowly work towards being okay with it. Because it does get exhausting constantly having to hide everything. The rut relationships, or the people that are afraid to break up. What you're doing when you're in this type of situation is you are causing the other person more pain. Nine times out of ten, the other person knows, okay, she doesn't want to be with me. She doesn't want to be in a relationship with me. They're not dumb. They can see that, and they, they can recognize that. And when you're staying, it's only hurting them, and they're asking questions, and they're wondering why. You need to get yourself to the place where you put them first. Putting them first is not, I'm going to stay in this relationship because I don't want to hurt them. Because the reality is you're staying in this relationship because you don't want them to be upset at you. It's a very selfish thing to do. When you make that decision to break up with them, you are doing this selfless thing by saying, I care about you and I'm not just going to stay in this relationship because of the way that it makes me feel or the way that it provides that security. And it's a really honorable thing to do. It's not easy breaking up with somebody. It's easy staying in a relationship when it's scary or when it's not working. It's not easy to let it go. Dependence. You all know what I'm talking about. Every day you wake up and you think about them and you can't imagine your life without them and you need them to breathe, you need them to poop, to sleep, to eat. Females are known for this. If you are emotionally dependent on a girl, the way that you can fix that is to start doing things for yourself. That means you go out with friends. That means you eat a tub of ice cream. You watch a movie that you want to watch. Because the more that you kind of give yourself your own life, the less you're going to be sucking out of that other person. And what ends up happening in a relationship where you are dependent on somebody else is that other person then has to carry you and they're going to get tired. It's exhausting being the person that is dependent on because you end up dragging this other person around. So if you love them, you'll do the best that you can to really push yourself to start things in your own life. And that's going to slowly detach yourself from needing that other person. Friends with benefits. It almost always ends badly, but if you and the other person know where you stand, if they know this is just what this is, if you know this is just what this is, then you should be fine. If there isn't clarification, then it's going to crumble and fall. So you have to make sure you're constantly on the same page with that person. Well, this video was overly long. There it is. There you have it. There you get it. Get her done. Don't forget to ask me questions. You can even create a video response and ask me a question for the Q&A next week in a video response, which would also be really cool. And also don't forget to watch those two videos that are down below. If you have watched this till the end, uh, let me know which of these relationships you have experienced, which one of these you've dealt with. Oh, you're still here? I was just texting. Why are you still watching? Leave. Jeez. No, really, leave. Like, ser no, like, no, I, I'm serious. Go. I don't want you here. Okay, maybe I do. Hi, how are you doing?